All right, today, YouTube, how you doing? Today, I uh, take Kim up to Parashant. Uh, that's a national monument in Arizona. It's pretty cool, uh, but she ain't never been up this road here. So I thought I'd take her up here just to show her that we don't have any problem at all going up hills. We got four wheel drive low on the Super Kia Gen 1. It's an amazing machine. I call it my razor hunter because I hunt down the razors and go where they go. And they're just like, how'd you get up here? I said, well, I came up here in that Super Kia Gen 1. How do you think I got here? They always get excited and think that they're better and they're not, okay? Anyway, I took Kim up this, uh, I haven't been up here in a while. Uh, this is where you go, easily go to go shooting. I was up here one day and it looked like a bunch of Muslims up here shooting. I was kind of concerned about that, you know. You don't know what's in the training camp, you know. Uh, they've been finding the training camps all over the United States there and I just don't see how they're getting away with it. But anyway, this is uh, Mesquite, Nevada. And we're just taking a little shortcut here because you get Kim excited. Yeah, you're and, uh, doing we that. We already did. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to show her that we got the power. We got the power to go anywhere we want. So, there you go. Now we're going to go ahead and get out of two wheel drive. Whoa.
crawling up it, creeping up it, huh? Creeping. Creeping up. Uh-oh. Yeah, I, I can do that anyway. Yeah, that's true. You can. <laughs> that was pretty cool, huh? Yeah. to the red the uh, first you know, the top where the red rock road is. Yeah it's starting to turn red. Mm -hmm. That's the turn off. Coming up here. Mm -hmm. You see a turn off coming up. Right there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So probably back up in there and I don't see why we can't make it around it. We can probably get up there on top of that. Oh, man, I see what's going on. <laughs> you be careful. This mud is. It's muddy? Well, it's not easy. Don't get me stuck up here. You know what? You're going to have to come back and get me. Cause I'm not walking out of here. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah. Pretty cool though, huh? Yeah. It's beautiful. I'll probably find another place. Huh? Another place to pull off. Okay. I'm gonna watch the mud. Yeah. That's not really that bad. I see where other vehicles have went on it. Is that ice? Oh, that's water. Huh? That's water. Cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. You can probably make it up around that. Now. Oh. oh, shit. <clears throat> Careful. You like it? Yeah. I like it. It's just rough. It's not, you know, no, no big deal. Oh, that was a lot better. Uh, better than it was when we came up last time. Because <laughs> it was smoother. Oh, was it? A little bit, yeah. Hmm. I don't know what we got there. That's good. <laughs> oh, hmm? not really. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Horrible drive is so cool. 
those are starting to bloom. Mm -hmm. Those are going to be so pretty. Oh. How is it over there in this side? Okay, good. Mm -hmm. So we just went over the summit. This is what you call the Red Rock Road here. It's only about an eighth of a mile long, but it's actually on Red Rock. Um, it's not like you're on a bunch of little rocks, you're on a, up, just up here you're on just one giant rock and you actually drive on it and go over it before we do our descent. So this is a real pretty place up here. Uh, Ever out in Mesquite, this is one of the places you want to go to see because, you know, the flat desert is not all that great. But here we are. Uh, back way into the north rim of the Grand Canyon. And not only that, it's also the way into, um, what's the name of that, hun? Parachutes. Yeah, Parachutes National uh, Monument. Monument. Park. Yeah, Monument. And, and Park. You ever wondered why people park on driveways and, and they drive on parkways? Not weird. <laughs> but anyway, this is the Red Rock. This is they consider the Red Rock Road yep. because we're on a big giant rock. This is all one rock. And then we're driving over it. Yep. And then from here on, it's a descent down to kind of a cool place where they got some red rocks and just a place to you know you can go there and camp if you want. A lot of fun. Beautiful. Yep, yeah, it's the back way into the north rim of the Grand Canyon. Uh, one day we'll make the whole trip. We'll go all the way. We'll come up here and camp. Make the whole trip to the Grand Canyon and back this way, and to uh, Parashant National Monument and Park. But we climbed about 3,000 feet getting up here. So we're up here a ways. We're probably up about, uh, probably about 4,500 feet, I would say, if I had to estimate it. Last time we come up here, because we were uh, razor hunting, all the <laughs> all the razors up here up here were like, "How'd you get that car up here?" I said, "Well, for one, it's not a car." That's right. The Kia Sportage, 2001, first generation, and the first generations weren't all-wheel drive. They were four by four. This has a limited slip rear end in it. It's just the same thing as Posi. Uh, and when you lock the front end, you're going wherever you want. Kim feels totally confident in it now. She knows that it's sure-footed and it will will take these trails. And yes. She was a little nervous at first. Believe but, me, I'm a wuss. Yeah. So if but, I believe it. Yeah, but now she's comfortable because she knows. But the descent is always pretty cool. Now you can uh, downshift this, it'll hold it back. And you don't have to use the brakes as much. I can get three gears to three gears to hold it back with. So you put it low, it holds it back pretty good. You know, you, you go too slow actually. But it's better than wearing your brakes out.
say you have to have brakes. Yep. <laughs> well, if you have trouble with your brakes, what's stopping you? Okay, that's what I always say. <laughs> Just ran over an animal. Maybe. Sound like it's squealing. <laughs> Some was squealing. Yeah. Wasn't the neighbors, because there ain't none up here. <laughs> no. But as you can see, you know, this is a pretty good descent. You know, some of these some of these are right at 48 degrees. You know, that's uh, that's pretty steep. But we haven't even spun a wheel yet. Kim's a little nervous about some mud, but I think like we uh, could have handled that. I'm a bliss. See, another trail that takes off over there somewhere and it goes over that. Oh, yeah. That oh, yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. Huh. See it from down there, the Red Rock. That's what I thought they were talking about, Elbow Canyon, but it's not. From these red rocks, you go down further and you go right. And if you stay. Yeah, there's something out there. Better not that way. Yep. Mm. You now you pick up rocks, pick up uh, twigs. And so you got. Sometimes you can pick up some noises, so when you get home, you gotta track them down. I'm probably going to have to take the But if you don't have front. a four-wheel drive, you know, they can always go to yeah. Flores and rent a razor That's for true. the day. That's true. But That's you come true. to Mesquite, you really need to do this trip. Yeah, because this is beautiful. It's very beautiful. Really beautiful. This oh, this is one of the favorite places I like to come when I take the pass over the mountain. There, these rocks here are just out in the middle of nowhere, and it's like, where in the hell did these rocks come from? Uh, and they're all through this area. You know, it looks like they were placed here. Some of them, but what it is is they're covered, and then. With the erosion, it takes the other dirt off, and pretty soon you have what's underneath. That's basically what happens there. That's still one of my favorite places to come. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's really pretty. Nice place to camp, too. Oh, yeah. Where are you going? I said, I'm parking in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Parking in the garage. Yep, but look at how they got the holes there in the wall. Oh, yeah. Uh, from the erosion there. Oh, it yeah. just leaves all kinds of really cool uh, patterns. Uh, probably get a little pareidolia where you think you see things in them, but, you know, it's just from regular <laughs> old erosion. See moss. So we're going to park over here in case somebody comes. We're not in the way. Other reasons too, but you know. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's real, real r nice and red sand here. Uh, we had Boo up here a while back, and we were shooting, and she's gun shy, so she ran off on us. And this is where she was at over here in this area, and uh, if you go up right up here, a tractor. Uh, I learned to do that from my grandpa when I was young. I tracked her for uh, a good hundred yards out, right out there, and found her. She had dug in a hole. Uh, okay. And the dirt to hide. Good thing I found her, though, because I sure do love my baby. My baby boo-boo. So far I have found three camp spots that I think would be awesome. Just going this way. Yep. You know? You happy? Yeah. I'm not good up there. Whee!
can jump out at it. I'm like, yeah, those suckers sure look like they would hurt. like uh, walls in, in that one. It section. does, doesn't it? Yeah, saucy maybe. Go through this area too. Huh. So many of them up by Durango, you know, my dad was taking kids, but they don't even, you know, nobody knows about them. And that's what up in there. Just take me a bunch of them. Oh yeah. There's still pottery in there and shit. Oh.
Another day, another trip. We got a gold gate next to me. Huh? Oh, a man a gold gate next to me. Yeah. And it 
cigarette. Watching the water going down, I love it. Yeah, when it's raining, that's why it's so much rougher. Because when it was raining, yeah. it's made all these ruts. I haven't liked this when we came up here a couple of weeks ago. That's your sign. Mm. Bicycle crossing. Bicycles got to worry about this road. I don't think there's too many bicycles up here to worry about. Yeah, I don't you think know, so. You but you never and, know. Those two and the one big one down there at yeah. the bottom, all three of them go through like that. Wow. We'll stop there. No, I didn't notice them on the way up. You don't see them on the way up. Uh-uh. You have to stop. Yeah. I know where they're at. I just you can stop and see them, but Oh, and look at the third mm -hmm. one, the big one. Yeah. Down here you can get some good pictures. You can get out and take them if you want. Got right it. From right here you got all three. Yep. These are made from flying saucers. Uh, you know, it looks like millions of years ago, but it was probably just a few weeks ago. <laughs> up here melting holes in that rock. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Target practice. Yep. Sorry. Really. So here we are. We're almost back down. We're going over the pass. Pretty good day. Tim's first time all the way. She enjoyed herself several times. Had a good time, I had a good time. We both had a good time. Boo had a good time. Oh yeah. So, check out our next video. We're gonna probably go to a place called Gold Butte and Falling Man. It sounds like they're both really good places to go to. So, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Don't cost you nothing. Entertaining videos. Damn Uncle Ron videos. Produced by Ron's Bar and Grill. <laughs>